okay in today's video uh, this video is the last video for the chapter matrix for class uh, 10 SC examination that will be conducted in our country Nepal so uh, uh, Camel's rules is the next way to solve a simultaneous equation so uh, to know about what kind of calculations can be drawn by cam can be done by Camel rules Camel rules help to solve a simultaneous equation in quite easy way and quite promptly as well but here are some formulas in verb we will deal with the formulas when we deal with the problem itself so you have been given a question there 3x plus 5y equals 21x minus y equals 2 minus 7 so before I begin let me inform you one more time that before this way before learning Cramwell's rule we have talked about solving a problem by matrix method in your SE examination you will either be asked to solve a problem to solve a simultaneous equation by Cramwell's rule or solve a simultaneous equation by a matrix method it will carry four marks for your examination so here I am gonna solve Cramer was the name of a person uh, he was a mathematician and he is the one who founded who founded this way to solve the problem so I'm beginning the problem Solution. Uh, the given equations are Three x plus five y equals to twenty one, and x minus y equals to minus one. Now we make a table. Coefficient of x, coefficient of y, and constant. This making table is not that important, but still it looks quite attractive when you do this one. Now, coefficient of x in the first equation, the coefficient of x is 3, the coefficient of y is 5, and the constant form is 21. In the second equation, the coefficient of x is 1, the coefficient of y is minus 1, and the constant form is minus 1. Now, from here we find d, dx, and dy. First of all, I'm finding the value d. D means to find the determinant of coefficient of x and coefficient of y. D means to find the determinant of this this part. This part. So 3, 5, 1, minus 1. Now I'm finding d. 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. Minus 5 into 1 is 5. It becomes like minus 8. Now after finding d, we have to find dx. In some of the books, it is written D1 also. I'm writing DX right now. DX means, okay, fine. Whatever you write, it is written as DX or D1. J no, J pan lexum manjere. DX pan lexum, so DA1 pan lexum. So DX means, uh, I'm getting this constant from it first. 21 minus 1. DX ma constant from the sumo rekne. Only you copse in a file like, just that was the rekne. The jukin sala solution go class fine. In the beginning, you'll be confused how to put the value but still it's not that difficult in dx you get write the constant from at first and the coefficient of y x ma y to coefficient of y constant from sigma rekne and y to coefficient of y now find the determinant of 21 into minus 1 is minus 21 minus 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 so it will be like minus 21 plus 5 this will give you 16 minus 16 now we find uh, now in the similar manner La. We also find dy. Uh, and let me talk about dx one more time. dx is the constant from the sum of the coefficient of y, and this could determine the dy. Now to find dy, x to coefficient of sum and constant from the sum of 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 the constant from say x nikal the constant from sigma y nikal the constant from sigma over the solve it 3 to minus 1 is minus 3 minus 21 to 1 is 21 so it will be like minus 24 ah yeah small boy ab ami by cramer rule ab according to cramer rule ami formula x no okay bye 
Kramer's rule. According to Kramer rule, x one equal b x by b o. Formula something. B x one equal minus sixteen. B one equal minus eight. So the value will be two. Similarly, y one equal b y by b o. B y again equal to minus twenty four. B again equal to minus eight. It frees a twenty four. So three. So x equal value two o. And y to value got answer three answer. Your Cramer's rule, why you 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 have to learn this Cramer rule in class eleven also, and in the chapter in the statistics in upper classes as well. So this is not that difficult, quite easy way to solve a problem. Everyone, I hope that you understood how did I solve the problem here. Okay. Now in this question, we first saw, take the two equations, and then later we take the another two equations, and we find two other equations, and then we solve the problem. So, taking the first two ratios. At first, I'm taking the first two ratios. Then what we get is. X plus one by eight equals to y plus three by five, or plus one by five x plus five equals to eight y plus twenty four, or five x minus eight y equals to twenty four minus five. Therefore, therefore, five x minus eight y becomes to be ninety. Uh, So this is equation. Uh, this is equation one. We call it equation one. Now we take the taking the second and third ratio. Taking the second and the third ratio, or you can take the taking the last two ratio. The second ratio is y plus three by five equals to x minus y by four. Now we cross multiply it. Four into y is four y. Three into four is twelve. Five into x is five x. Five into y is five y. Or minus five x. This I got it here. Minus five x plus four y. When you get this minus five by four, it turns to plus five y. It goes to minus twelve. So we get that minus five x plus nine y goes to minus twelve. We can further. Solve it, but still we can leave our answer here. Now we got two equations. Now we are going to solve these two equations by using the Cramer's rule. Okay. Now I'm solving these two equations by using the Cramer's rule. Now I write here cosine of x, cosine of y, and constant. Cosine of uh, it's better making a table this way. It is better to make a table. I said. Uh, now, the coefficient of x is five. The coefficient of y is minus eight, and the constant term is ninety. The coefficient of x is minus five. The coefficient of y is nine, and the constant term is minus twelve. So, now I'm finding here d. Okay, I'm finding here d. To find d, we take a determinant of five minus five minus eight nine. Multiply it five into nine, five into nine minus minus eight into minus five is forty. Nine times of forty-five minus forty gives you five. We got D. Now we need to find D X and D Y as well. D X and D Y as well. So now to find D X. Now, I am finding d x and d y as well. Now, to find d x, we get the, we write the constant term at first, nineteen minus twelve, and we write the coefficient of y minus eight nine. Now, multiply. Uh, we multiply nineteen into nine. This gives you one hundred seventy one minus minus eight into two values two into nine six. Now one seventy four and minus ninety six gives you seventy five. Similarly, we find d y as well. To find d y, we write the coefficient of x at first. 
and we write the constant term later on. 19 minus 12. So it will be like minus 60 plus. Otherwise, write here minus. And then 19 into 5 is uh, 95. Minus 95. Min minus 95. Okay, now it will be like 60. It will be like minus 60 plus 95, which gives you 15. Minus 15. Uh, minus 35. Okay. By Cramer's rule, we get x by using formula dx by b. Your dx is 35 and your d is 5. And the answer comes to be 50. Similarly, y is dy by d. Your dy is minus 25 and your d is 5 and it comes to be minus 7. So the solution for x is 15 and the solution for y is minus uh, not not it is not minus seven it will be like plus seven because it is plus here so it will be like plus seven so this is the solution for your problem now in this question you can see there is uh, three by x plus two by y equal to three by two and six by x plus two by y equals to two we have been told to solve the problem by using a Cramer's rule so now you can see that x and y are in the delimiter so when you have x and y in the delimiter we suppose 1 by x as a and 1 by y as b then equation becomes you have 3 by x 3 by x means 3 into 1 by x and 1 by x is a so it becomes 3a 3a plus 2 by y means 2 into 1 by y and 1 by y means b so it becomes 2b 3a plus 2b equals to 3 by 2 similarly 6x becomes 6a 2 by y becomes 2b equals to 2 we got this so far now what do you have this now on? now we write the coefficient of a we write the coefficient of b coefficient of a coefficient of b and we write constant also the coefficient of a is uh, 3 here, the coefficient of b is 2 here, and the constant term is 3 by 2. The coefficient of a is 6, the coefficient of b is 2, and the constant term is 2. Now we find d x. D, so of course we find d. d means to find the determinant of the coefficient. 3, 6, 2, 2. Now quantify. We first quantify this principal diagonal. 3 into 2 and we subtract and we multiply the remaining element 6 into 2 becomes 12 so 3 into 6 6 minus 12 gives you minus 6 similar in the similar manner we also find dx and dy but here you don't have x and y here you have a and b so we are finding da da means you write the constant from it first 3 by 2 and 2 and you and you write the coefficient of b here and 2. Now multiply. 3 by 2 into 2 is yes. uh, 3 by 2 into 2 is 3 by 4. Okay, anyway, I am just checking. 3 by 2 into so 3 by 2 into 2 is 6 by is 3. Or 2 into we cancel. Minus 2 to the 4. 3 minus 4 becomes minus 1. And then this becomes dB. dB means what you have to do is you have to write the coefficient of A at first. And the constant from later on. Modify. 3 into 2 equals to 6 minus 3 by 2 into 6. 3 by 2 into 6 becomes to be 9. 6 minus 9 is minus 3. Now for A, now by Cramer rule. By Cramer rule. By Cramer rule, A will be dA by B. A is dA by D. Or, or we have suppose a to be 1 by x. 1 by x equals to your dA is minus 1. In a similar manner, we have b equals to bb by b. Or b means 1 by y. 1 by y. Uh, so here the value for b becomes db by b and b is 1 by y. 
you can see that b is 1 by 1 and your db is minus 3 here so minus 3 and your d here is minus 6 or 1 by y becomes to 1 by 2 so therefore the value of y tends to be 2 this is how we solve our problem okay thank you